Hi, this is Joe again with another review. For the sake of this video, we're going to be discussing the, <coughs> the 2015 film, Fifty Shades of Grey, starring Dakota Johnson. <coughs> me. And this this film, of course, is based on the original uh, book series by E.L. James, which was an enormous bestseller, probably the second biggest bestselling book behind the century behind the Da Vinci Code. I think it's, I have the Somo books of the Vinci Code, but I think those two books are the two biggest bestsellers so far of the century. Of course, this movie, of course, also had the three other books, and previously I only reviewed the final film in this series, which is Fifty Shades Free. So, but for this video, I'm discussing the first film, which is Fifty Shades of Grey, which came out in 2015, and it should be renamed Fifty Shades of Boring. Because nothing really that exciting ha happens in this book, except, uh, or should I say in this movie, except of course for all the sex scenes in it. And this is, this is what everybody was talking about, and we're going to get to the plan in a second, but, but, th but this movie was this close to the, um, you know, to be an NC-17 movie, or probably even an x ray and so, uh, because of all the, you know, graphic sex scenes that are in this film. So, and they're, and they're all pretty graphic. Of course, this movie starts off with Annabe uh, Annabella uh, Steele, played with Dakota Johnson, who takes over for her roommate, who was sick with the flu, to interview Christian Grey, who, who was a 27-year-old billionaire who was his own... It's like a young version of Donald Trump, pretty much. He has his own uh, company. He's into all different kinds of businesses. And he's like worth billions. L literally, he's worth billions of dollars. But he's, but he's single. He's a pretty mysterious you know, guy. And you never see him photograph with a woman or anything like that. So, and, 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 you know, and, and, and Annabelle... You know, interviews. Uh, well, uh, uh, I should say it's An Anastasia is her name, Anastasia Steele, and they call her Anna, you know, Anna for short. Goes and interviews him, and he's immediately attracted to Anastasia. And he invites her to her to his house, which is in Seattle. And she was in uh, Portland, Oregon, working working a little hardware store, trying to get herself through college and stuff. And she interviews him. And he decides to have her be her new submersive. What it means is that he is into pretty much torture porn, pretty, pretty much. That he's a, a pretty much a dominatrix over the women that he comes in. And he had, tries to get the same as contract, which she never does in this movie or any other. I don't know if she does it in the Bucks series, because they never in the Bucks. But, but in this movie, she never actually signs the contract. They say, oh, that he will control everything she does, especially when they have sex, they could torture her pretty, pretty much until when she says no, or when she actually has enough of this garbage and decides to not do it anymore. You know, or not do it with him, I should say, anymore. So, so uh, which eventually does happen in the end of this movie. You know, spoiler for those those few who have not seen the movie or have not read the books, she leaves at the end of the story. But before then, he has the, these real graphic, you know, sex scenes. And Dakota Johnson, who was the young daughter of Melanie Griffith and John Johnson, so you can see where she got her her, her looks from, her good looks from, and her and her body. Her, and I don't know if she actually used a body double or not, but but I think she, I think she, I think she didn't. And I like to think that she did. Otherwise, otherwise, I'm sure the, we've gone, the news will have gone out by now, you know, six years after this movie came out, that, that she uh, used to buy double for her nude scenes. But, but, but she, she, she does have an amazing figure, an amazing body, and she looks great. And you know, you can't, can't complain about the way she looks, the way the actor who plays Kristen Gray looks either. Uh, but that's pretty much most of, a good chunk of this movie. And and he and Christian Grey is trying to control her life, and, and and Anastasia is trying to figure out why 
it was Christian Grey, you know, like this. And, and she's trying to like psycho, even though, even though she is a uh, English lit major, she's trying to psychoanalyze the guy. Pretty, pretty much through the whole movie, saying, oh, why, why you like this, why you do this. And he says, well, that's the way it made. And, and he kind of tells his backstory a little bit and gets into more into the second film. What you know, what happened when he was a kid? Then he says, "Oh, his mother died when he was four. His real mother died when he was four. And he got adopted, and he met. When he was like 15 years old. He met this woman who taught him how to do all this crazy dominatrix stuff, and that's what happened. As a matter of fact, when he first suggested this idea uh, to Anastasia, she admits that to him that she was that she is a virgin. She never had." sex in her, in her life and, and he says you're kidding and still it, it, I mean he had the attitude of oh this uh, he couldn't believe there's still virgins in this book because he never met a virgin before I, I, I guess uh, and he says alright because I want to know what you like you know during sex so you know what, what you can get what I can get away with and what I can't get away with and she and she tells him that they never had sex before so, she, so they actually do have sex and it was a pretty graphic so and he goes oh what you you know i'm sorry i have to get a little bit graphic here so i had to post a you know do a warning at this point at this point in the video and he says i, I want you to to you know do an orgasm for me and I, said, I, want, I, want, I want you to come come on you know you know you know do the all you know to moan and groan and do it for do it like a, almost like a meg ryan thing going on here you know but having my sally but she goes through the orgasm I said, I don't want you. I said, I don't want you to fake it. You know, don't fake it with me. And of course, you know she does it. And of course, she, he also claims, or Christian, Christian does, never claims he, to never. He has, he does what he does with, with these women, but he, they, he never sleeps with them in the same bed after everything. But for some reason, he starts doing it with, uh, you know, sleeping with Anastasia in the same bed. After they have sex and everything else, and now he's trying to have like regular, or, or like he he's actually with his character, he's supposed to be grooming her for what he likes to do, and you know she is grooming him for an actual physical, not only a romantic relationship, but a sexual relationship as well. Even though she was, you know, like it doesn't mention that she was a virgin when when they first had sex, so she was he I mean he was her. her a first lover really and so you have all this stuff going on and then and then it's pretty pretty much what the what this movie is and she of course she graduates from college and after she graduates they just fool around a little bit more and there's no more the dominatrix where where he goes don't you roll uh, oh if you roll your eyes at me i'm gonna spank you you know you know type thing which which he you know he does do and of course she gets put off by that and after doing it after getting spanked once and getting twice she said oh I had enough of this crap and she and she get, walks over the elevator and says goodbye Christian and that's how the movie, first movie ends and of course you, I mean, you can tell there were other movies or other stories in this series because of the way the movie ends and of course two years later you have the second movie which I'm going to review uh, next so this is my review of Fifty Shades of Grey Please click on the video, please read it, please subscribe to my channel, please forward this video onto your Facebook pages. You can check out all my reviews and on my YouTube channel at rallyc.com, it's O-W-D-Y, rallyc.com, it's the homepage to the reviewer, Chris Lee Moore, please check out all the videos on this website. Thanks for watching, catch you next time.